think what the male equivalent of pole dancing would be, I think it would probably be tunnel dancing. I mean, you'd have a big tunnel about the size of this with hair all around the edges, and I, I think you'd just sit in there and crack a beer, wouldn't you? And then, <laughs> and Anyway, what do you think of the shirt? My grandmother, she had curtains. <laughs> Hasn't got them now. Uh, look, because of this, um, because of this course, I've uh, developed the, what I think is probably the greatest idea that the planet is ever going to see, and that certainly you people are never going to see. If I can think what it is, no. But um, it's a great idea, and I'm going to present it to you now. But uh, I want to know that you're ready. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. Hang on a sec. <laughs> I got it on quiet, just a sec. Sorry. Yeah, I'm the man in arm thing. I'm on stage, huh? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. It's my girlfriend, she wants a fuck. Anyway. <laughs> you know, it's funny, isn't it? Because it's just a word, but when you think, oh, he's going to get it, you know, it really puts a different connotation. Anyway. Um, what was I talking about? That's right, the greatest idea. Lost my concentration there. So, the greatest idea, you ready? You ready? Okay, you ready? I want to ask again. The Ark 2. I'll explain. 4,000 years ago, you had the Ark, right? Noah, everybody knows Noah's Ark. They used to teach it in. Kindergarten, you'd have, you didn't go to kindergarten. <laughs> I'm stuffed. No, it was Ark, come on, no, it was Ark. It was, it was a big thing, you know, the boat, the animals went in two by two, all that, and they got the olive branch and all that sort of shit. <laughs> it's gonna happen again. It is, the signs are absolutely everywhere because back then you had, the planet was screwed, you know, the, the Garden of Gethsemane and the Sheilas were running around naked and it was all going off. They just invented alcohol 4,000 years ago. You can imagine what it must have been. God, the wrath of God, he sent the wrath down and he said to Noah, go and build an ark. Well, it's exactly the same now. We've got the same thing. There's too many everything. There's, there's too many comedians for Christ's sake. There's too many here. There's too many jumbo jets. There's too many cooking things. Every time you turn on the freaking television, there's cooking. You come home at night and sit down and there's cooking. Your wife's cooking in the kitchen. There's fucking Gordon, fucking Ramsey, fucking swearing at you about cooking. You know, it's, just, it's just too much. And you can see it coming. God is sending his wrath in the form of climate change. And the oceans are going to rise up. That told us where the people are going to... We'll be underwater here probably this time next year. They're going to come up and we're all going to be stuffed. And that's the thing, so we've got to get an ark. I think it's quite a reasonable proposition. We're going to sell shares. It's going to be floated on the stock exchange. Excuse the pun. It's going to be floated on the stock exchange. We're going to have a board game. There's going to be songs. And there hasn't been any... Thank you. I didn't think that was that funny. But, and we're going to have... There's, there's been no testaments. How long since there's been a testament? 2,010 years, three months, 29 days, and what's the time now? It's, there hasn't been a testament. We, we have the New Testament, the Old Testament, that's where the ark was, I was telling you about that. And we have it, so we're going to have the next testament, which, well, I, I think we should have a competition to name it, because I was sort of thinking, oh, the New Butte Testament, whatever, you know, the Super Testament, the, the Great Testament, Testament according to me. But we're going to have a testament, we're going to have gospel songs, but not the, not the old gospel, this is the only sort of gag I've got for this. We're going to have the new type of gospel. We're going to do the rap thing. You're going to like this. Yo, 
we're going to have the art. It's going to be the art, and it's going to be the money. It's easy to do rap songs. <laughs> <laughs> that's what people do. Really it's really fucking dumb. That didn't work too well. <laughs> Cancel the rap song on the art. Uh, the other one. So, the best thing about this course with, to do with Mandy is that you get to have an appointment with her. And you sit down, and if there's, well it's good that you sit down because if there's one person that shouldn't wear high heel shoes, it's on this planet, it's Mandy Knoll. If you're looking up like this most of the course, you know, oh, Mandy, you know it's really off-putting with a Sheila that's sort of six foot seven. Anyway, as I say, you have the appointment, and you can have a lot of appointments in your life. You can have a lot of you can, you can go to the doctor. You can have a doctor's appointment. Oh, you're too fat. You're not going to see seventy. I go to a skinny, a fat doctor now. I used to go to skinny doctors, but I go to a fat one. Well, you're as fat as me. Who gives a fuck? You know. We <laughs> <laughs> both be dead by the time we're seventy. Doesn't matter. And anyway, so you get to have this appointment, and you're sitting there and trying to be funny, and it's it's just funny. Being funny. <laughs> not all the time, not that guy, let me cross that one off. Anyway, so who's going to come on the art? Because I, I, you know, you've got to pick people. We're not going to have any Byron Bay councillors. I mean, they can't even fix the road up to the lighthouse. That Jan Byron wants to have the ocean come in. Fuck it, she's not coming on the art. <laughs> not going to be there. And we're going to have two, two gay lesbian couples because they're just fabulous to watch. <laughs> We've got the 96 and the 69, I've never known the difference. Anybody know the difference? 96, 69, the 11, that's just on your own, I think. <laughs> anyway, um, so who's... Not, so the, the people that are coming on the arc, gay lesbians, it's going to be a big arc. I mean, don't worry, you know, you'd probably be able to get on if you, if you get in early and you're in early, because I just invented this whole thing a little while ago during the course. And so it's going to be a big ship, like we're going to get a container ship running up onto the beach at what it goes. You can just imagine it. You'll have the anti-arc campaigners, the council, bang, the arc, can't have the arc, no, because that's what they did with Noah. They did, they all tormented him, you remember? If you went to Sunday school, I did, not for long. I went to Sunday school for long enough to be able to stand up and tell the teacher to bugger off. And then I went to the beach.